All right, I've got a fun new addition to my feed room. I'm super excited about this. I've seen this on a couple different farms, YouTube channels, and I just thought it was the best idea ever to really make your grain mixing a little faster and more efficient. A cement mixer. <laughs> so. I did not come up with this idea on my own. Other farms use this technique and I thought that was the coolest thing and the best idea. What you feed your goats has a lot to do with the components that come out on your milk test. So we're going to be mixing our own grain. We kind of do that now, but we're changing it up a little. And this is going to help us mix big batches of grain for the goats. Try to up our feed game a lot and then see how that impacts their butter fat and their production. So, I got one for Christmas. It's my Christmas gift. Oh boy. That's a lot of faces. Just putting the last piece on here. And we'll take it for a test spin. And I'm gonna crank the wheel. Get it. A test spin. <laughs> what? I always mix my own grain. I use whole oats, flax seed, barley, and black oil sunflower seed. Um, we also add in some calf manna. I'll give you the pound. Okay, so our new addition to the feed room is this little concrete mixer. It's just a small one. So what I'm gonna do is weigh out the amounts of my feed so it's all precise and then I put it in here and run the mixer and it mixes it up for me and then I dump it into a smaller container where it goes downstairs for the milk. So I have a little recipe card here and I am going to mix 15 pounds of whole oat and two and a half pounds of flax seed, two and a half pounds of black oil sunflower seeds, two pounds of calf manna, four pounds of rolled barley, and then you can also add in some molasses to make it all stick together, but I haven't wanted to get my mixer all, mi all sticky, so I haven't done that yet, but I'll show you how I mix it up. So I bought on Amazon this little hanging scale as well, so I could get my mixes very accurate. Once you have all your ingredients poured into the mixer, okay, once it's done mixing, I'll just pour it right into my bucket. are enjoying the snow because it's making all the tree limbs hang down low so that they can get to them. <laughs> I'm gonna have to trim a lot of these ones stuff. Once the snow is gone, a lot of them got damaged in all the snowfall. Hey Esther, you can't reach that one. Hey Esther. We are in a winter storm right now. I mean, it's been a bad one. We got probably about eight inches of snow, maybe a little bit more, but it just hasn't been above freezing for several days. So right now it's only 28 degrees and this morning the waters were all frozen. So it's been, uh, it's been kind of a struggle for, for barn chores and whatnot. So, uh, the wheelbarrows are full and frozen and hard to push. So we're going down to the barn right now to see if we can get the water thawed out and uh, we had, they got water this morning, so they're, they're okay, but we're just going to go down and do some chores. 
What do you think of the snow dotty? What? what do you think of the snow dotty? What do you think, Nighthawk? work time for us. It's finally starting to thaw out a little bit. We can actually come down here and do some work. <laughs> so we had to go get hay today. We go get hay a little bit at a time. We don't have a good place to store it. We only have storage right here. We could put it in our loft, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, we put it in our loft one year. We put like 300 bales up there and it was just it's so much work getting it up there and it's so much work getting it down that it's just not worth it. Um, so I think we're gonna, we've been just getting it like eight or 10 bales at a time for this year and then next year, I think we're gonna devise a, a hay storage plan, whether we get a shed or we build a shed or, um, we'll figure it out. But. Yeah, we're gonna figure something out. But it's not much more of a saving to buy it in bulk. At least from the suppliers in our area that we have found. Yeah, you know. So it hasn't really been worth it for us to build something and all that, but. It's more convenient to have it a bunch of it at once, that's for sure. Yeah, you don't have to run and get it every couple weeks, but. Yeah. Okay, that string, we get that string on. Actually, here I got it. Gotta hurry and do this before Lemon gets over here because she jumps the fence. Lemon is a jumper. Oh, Trudy! Trudy! Oh, Trudy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Trudy. Oh, you're so floppy here. I had to get that <laughs> I like it. You just gotta open it up. Tarp down because we have so much ice in the back of our truck. Oh. Yeah. That's fun. Since the weather is so crappy, I think I'm going to work on our trailer project. So, a while back in a few of the videos, um, I put this uh, grate or I put this pen that we bought, took it apart and put it in our trailer and kind of set it up so that we could haul our goats to the goat shows. Got a little door and whatnot. And since then, we've gotten more goats that we want to take to the shows and whatnot. So I'm gonna reconfigure this a little bit and do kind of some custom stuff in here. I've got some aluminum and I'm gonna put some aluminum rails in here and we're gonna make this kind of a double decker trailer so that we can put goats on the bottom and we can put goats on the top. Make it out of the rain. So hopefully it all comes out really good. Jennifer's a little bit nervous about the whole process, but I think once I'm all done, it's gonna come out really cool. And we're gonna document the process along the way. So I'll do little tidbits here and there in videos that come out. But at the end, when I'm all finished, I'll do put together a full video on how I did it and how it turned out and the pros and cons. So that's kind of what I'm gonna be working on for the next, I don't know, until show season probably. <laughs> Cause we gotta get this thing geared up so that we can get all of our goats in here. I mean, there's no way that we can transport three bucks and six or seven does to a goat show with just this, these couple dividers. So we're gonna figure something out, but I'll try to make everything that I can make and we'll see how it turns out.